What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with another solo money glitch. Guys, modded outfits are back. The solo money glitch for the uh, apartment transfers are back. Uh, we do have a bit of a workaround uh, thanks to uh, CBD420. His link will, will be down in the description as well as all the other founders of this glitch. And uh, yeah, the gameplay you're seeing right now is me actually hitting the glitch. Uh, it's the SP to MP uh, glitch that we were doing before uh, to, to buy everything with the frozen money, all that stuff. Now, unfortunately, we can't get the frozen money with this, but we do have the modded outfits and the apartment transfers, which are okay. You can still make a million and a half dollars every time you do this, but you do got to be quick. All right, so I just want to explain the new patch. The new patch that they did... Uh, for the SP to MP is that when you finally spawn online after doing this whole part of the glitch as Franklin or Michael or whichever story mode character you chose uh, You spawn online you have about roughly seven seconds to actually do something until it just says air joining session and it kicks you now In this glitch it involves eating the peyote very very quickly if you eat the peyote and you were too late to it And you try to go and hit swap character you're gonna get the air joining session and then you have to fix your data after that it gets corrupted so you see right here I spawned right here a little bit too far away from the peyote so I'm gonna attempt to eat it and then when I eat it I go and I you gotta be really quick about this you see I ate it and I didn't even get to do anything and there you go error joining session yeah if you eat the peyote and uh, and you get that error message you have to fix your data so I will have the data fixes down there uh, in the uh, pinned comment remember you won't be able to log on to uh, GTA it'll say your files can't be recovered or the servers are down it'll say some some shit like that alright but here we go we're gonna set everything up I'm gonna actually buy the most expensive apartments right now on my first character okay so check it out uh, this is how you do the apartment transfer for the solo money glitch. Buy the three most expensive penthouse suites on one of your characters. Doesn't matter which one it is. I'm using my first character, and you want to buy them in slots 4, 5, and 6. Okay, as you can see that I'm doing right here. The three penthouse suites, slots 4, 5, and 6 on one of your characters. This doesn't matter which one, but you check it out. 4, 5, and 6 have the, uh, the penthouse suites. That's what you want to see, okay? We're going to be transferring these prices over to the other character. So I'm going to show you right here. Four, five, and six. See that? Three, two, one. Right there. All right. Those are the expensive apartments on my first character. And then now we're going to go ahead and swap character and I'm going to go to my second one. Now, on my second character, I'm going to go ahead and actually buy the three cheapest properties. Okay. And like I said, guys, this is interchangeable. You can use whichever character you want. They both share bank accounts. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to get rid of some of my, uh, my, outfit with the joggers with the Tron shoes uh, yeah I don't want to really screw around with those uh, too much on my main character so I'm just transferring all those to the female character all right so here we go slots four five and six all the cheap properties and remember you will lose all your outfits on the character that's getting the money okay unless you've made modded outfits on the other character the one that's getting all the money for this is the one losing the outfits unless you know how to make modded outfits and you've already done it but check it out so slots four five and six i have the three cheapest properties on the character that is receiving the money that we're doing the solo money glitch for which in this case is my second character this this time okay now positioning is perfect for this guys uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to show you the exact positioning that I have. So I'm looking down. It's about five squares or so, five, six or seven squares right here, uh, you know, from that container and then moving all the way up to this little patch of gravel. That's all kind of screwed up. That is the patch that you want to stand on. This is at South Los Santos Customs by the side. This is the peyote location I, I use in all of my videos for SP to MP. And uh, this is the exact positioning you want, guys. At this point, what you would want to do is go to Style, go down to that outfit, click on it, and you're going to see the little uh, loading icon in the bottom right. And then you want the game to save basically right here. The peyote will end up in that little spot right there, uh, you know, by the broken down bus or gutted out bus, I should say. But this is your exact positioning, guys. You have to be exactly right here. All right, because when we spawn back, you want to be spawning as close to the peyote as possible to give us the most amount of time. So here we go. Style. I'm just going to click on my outfit here. Take a look at the bottom right. You're going to see the orange low, uh, saving icon. There we go. I know the game has saved my positioning there. I'm just going to go to online and leave GTA online. And we're going to get started with the glitch coming up here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go through it kind of, uh, kind of normal speed. Okay, 50% slowed down. 
but yeah so just like the old glitch uh, that we were doing earlier what you want to do is get one star it doesn't matter what character you are actually I was doing it with Franklin I was doing it with Michael it works with both of them I never used Trevor but I know Franklin and Michael both work uh, I did it on an account that had really no saves on it like I did the first three levels so progression does not matter in the story uh, this the progression in this one is pretty much full but yeah get one star by just shooting a few rounds and then put your gun away uh, I was just going towards the cops just to make it quicker but make sure you're not running towards them as they're coming to you like right there you see I stopped if you run towards them they take that as a threat so here we go they're gonna go ahead and boom my hands came up and they're about to arrest me you press start go to the online tab and we're gonna be headed to play GTA online and invite only session alright so here we go here are the steps guys so pay attention once we're in the sky boom right here that ad came up go ahead and dashboard hit go offline go straight back to GTA once you come straight back to GTA you're gonna get an alert the alert is gonna be coming up very soon right there your connection has been lost wait on that alert for a few seconds accept it now wait two seconds after that okay that's where we're at right now dashboard again go online wait five to ten seconds so that your uh, your your game can really fully connect go back to GTA you're gonna be in the clouds like this now dashboard go offline back to GTA really really quick you're gonna get a black screen coming up okay so here we go we're gonna get that black screen boom right there dashboard again right on the black screen hit go online and wait 20 to 30 seconds come straight back to GTA after that 20 to 30 seconds make sure you uh, you connect fully and you get that orange uh, save icon right at the bottom right and will which will be followed by the joining GTA online there we go that's how you hit that glitch guys for everybody that was wondering do you disconnect your router or anything no you're going to your settings, your network settings in your console and hitting go offline. Okay, go online. That's how it works. So here's the quick part, guys. Remember, we saved our spawn location. You want to spawn right next to that peyote. Boom, we separate. You got seven seconds. Now hurry up. Press right D-pad. Press start. Go to online tab. Go up, up, up. Go to swap character. You got to be quick with it. Like I said, if you weren't quick enough and you get the air joining session, your data will get corrupted. You have to fix your data. Okay, so... I'm just letting you know you got to be very quick with it, but with this positioning it is very po uh, very possible But it did take me a little while to finally hit it and get quick at that uh, button movement All right, so now that we've done that we've successfully gone into uh, you know the um, the mugshot room to swap our characters I'm gonna go ahead and pick the character with the cheapest uh, or sorry with the most expensive apartments on there Which is my first character. Okay, you want to pick the one with the most expensive apartments now once you do that, you're gonna wait to time out. Okay, remember the last character we had online was the female character in the video. That's the one with the cheap apartments. We're transferring over the expensive apartments back over to the female, okay? And you'll see why. So just stay with me here. Once you're waiting there, you're gonna get a timed out locating session alert. That's okay, that's exactly what you want. At this point, you just accept it, wait a few seconds here for the clouds to unfreeze. Once the clouds have unfrozen, you can go ahead and you can actually quit your GTA app. Once you quit your GTA app, Xbox, go ahead and delete save game data from this console, okay? You go to start on GTA, uh, manage game, uh, save data, go down to your gamer tag, click on it, hit delete from console. Only delete from console and then load GTA back up, okay? Uh, and you're gonna get to this display calibration screen. Boom, right there and accept it. Uh, PlayStation, you guys can literally just hit L1 and R1 after the uh, sirens, and then you'll get to that display calibration, and you'll be able to, to go into online and proceed with the glitch. Xbox, we got a few more steps that we actually have to take care of. We're going to be loading into the prologue. Some people don't load into the prologue. They load straight into the story. You can go online as well. But for me, I always load into the prologue. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of my GTA app right now, and then I'm going to start it back up. When I start GTA back up, I'm gonna let it sync this time, okay? Remember the time before, I didn't let it sync. I hit stop sync, cancel sync, all that good stuff. This time, you're gonna let it sync, okay? Let it sync fully, all right? Before when we deleted our data, we were not letting it sync. This time, let it sync, uh, sync from this console, and then at that point, you're gonna go ahead and actually load back into story mode like you see here, and we're gonna load into an invite-only session, all right? So this is where PlayStation's with us. You're gonna accept the game's policies right there. And then once you accept the game's policies, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to loading into GTA Online. 
Now, since we selected that second, that other character with the expensive apartments and timed out, the outfits from those transferred over to this one, as, long, as well as the apartments that we bought in the beginning of the video. So go ahead and go to uh, your outfits. If you made any, they would be transferred over here. Uh, I didn't make any for this one, you know, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to the internet now and go to Dynasty 8, and you're going to see that the expensive prices have transferred over to this character. So we're going to buy cheap, cheap properties over them. You see right there? 550000 Those are the three expensive prices from the last character. This is where we make our money. So we're going to trade in. We're going to buy a cheap apartment over the expensive one. We just made $523,000 right there. Go ahead and buy the next cheapest property. Go ahead, Strawberry Avenue, accept it, $427,000. Now we're going to do the same thing one more time. Uh, twenty-six dollars for this one, buy it over that one. $466,000 we just earned right there. So $1.5 million roughly we just earned from doing that glitch. And you can do this over and over and over again. Once you buy the apartments one time, that's it. All right, you guys are good after that. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you know, the solo money glitch is back. The uh, DM outfits are back. So I hope you guys take advantage of this, you know, before it gets patched. Uh, who knows when it'll be. But for now, no frozen money, which is okay to me. I love this glitch. I can go back to making a few outfits now and stuff. So uh, thankfully, we can do this now. All right. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you did, make sure to hit that like button by hitting the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.